I hope we can talk. Well, look who's talking. Because the privilege of being a man sometimes blows our vision. And there's a clear problem we all need to tackle. How do you know it's clear if your vision's blurred? You plonker. Sexist hate has stifled women for far too long. Maybe they should try football instead. They might get good at that, rather than uh, this. You, 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 you can have more than one passion, more than one string to your bow. You can play football and endlessly complain about men existing, but the best footballers tend to be focused primarily on the football. And if you're that passionate about shitting on men, try being a country singer. You can do both at the same time. Or a pop singer or an R&B singer. You get the idea. It's something we suffer every day. Designed to devalue and damage, the disregard remains strong. Okay, so disregard it. If you have a strength, play to it. Do you see how easily and effortlessly you are able to disregard all of the women who say abusive, sexist things online? Would, do you think you could take that and extend it? Like, equally? Get back, get back in the kitchen. Get back in the kitchen. And if you can't stand the heat in the kitchen, just get out more. Let's see what else we've got here in our graphical plethora of online hate. Stop pretending to play football. Okay. You're ruining football, you stupid cow. Useless woman, I hope you break your leg. Well, clearly no male footballer has ever faced any comments as derogatory as that in regard to their ability to play football. Perhaps whenever they miss a penalty. A hey, Gareth. Whether it's online or offline, the purpose is clear. To a little me. Harass me. To make me disappear. <laughs> hey, presto. You know, making people disappear online, or at least appear to disappear, is remarkably easy on a number of levels. Here's how to mute the content you don't want to see online. Here's how to block accounts that post it. Here's how to report hate you see online. Thanks. That's actually some useful information that could help women to deal with this problem of theirs. It's not her problem. It's ours. Oh. Yet here you are. Teaching women how not to be great. I'm afraid you are all banged to rights guilty of victim blaming. Reported. It just adds to the climate of intimidation and fear. Deep down, those comments really do affect people. It shapes you. What if I attempted to explain to you the importance of resilience? Would that be victim blaming? Resilience is an important part of our ESN solution. Huh. That the requirement for female success is skin thick enough to weather that storm. Yes. We shouldn't have to deal with negativity, but we have to. Yes. It's mind blowing. Kinda, yeah. But it's okay to blow your mind once in a while, it's fun. And for our teammates that have made it out on the pitch, representing their nation with pride, why should they be paid with pain just for playing the beautiful game? They're not. They are paid with money, which is generally pleasurable, but with pleasure comes pain. Without asceticism, there can be no hedonism and vice versa. Tis the middle way, Om. There's been times where I'm just like, why do I play football? Because what's the point? 
usually nil nil. <laughs> so yeah, I get what you're saying. Because football is football, no matter who kicks the ball. It's everyone's game. And the same goes for life. Living is for all. But hatred is just for men, and being a victim of hatred is just for women. And this in itself is certainly not a hateful thing to say. <laughs> I just want to be the best version of me. Women have the right to grow great without your judgment. How the fuck do you know what is great? Without judgment! It's women, right? <laughs> women are great by default, whereas men have to prove themselves in order to be judged as great. And then you act surprised when men work harder. Their potential isn't secondary to ours. So ask yourself, how can anyone be the best version of themselves when we place limits on their powers? Because they also place limits on ours, you oblivious bigot! Power doesn't always necessarily corrupt, but it very much does in the event of it being unlimited. That's why we don't treat human beings like goddesses who deserve absolute power, because you end up with bullshit like this! We're in this race, but we're kind of chained from behind, which no one can really see. Yeah. We we have invisible chains, and you people do not. I certainly can't see any. Be sure the words we use matter. Call out those who shame. All righty, rumor, dude. Consider yourself called out. You're you're shaming men for something that they, as men, don't do exclusively, and most of them don't do at all. But I'm not going to tell you to stop it. I'm not going to mute you or block you or report you. I'm going to tell you what you've done wrong there. And you're not going to listen to me, and that's fine. I'm keeping the lines of communication open, and you're going to ignore them, because that's what I do, and that's what you do. I'm okay with all of this. But frankly, neither of us is engaging in hope. We're both just indulging in our own personal flavours of despair. In that way, you and I are kindred spirits. I, I, I feel like I'm being a lot more honest about it than you are, but I guess I would say that. I would insert a light-hearted quip here, but you've pissed me off now. Your words don't just hurt one of us, it hurts all of us. You're not the Borg! You're not the fucking... I know you want to be, but you're not! For better or worse, you are individuals. I shouldn't have to explain this to you. And come to think of it, I don't have to explain it to you. Because you do treat women as individuals when they insult you, when they hurt you, and when they victimise you. That doesn't happen. And if it does, it's a one-off accident of nature and it didn't happen. But when a woman is victimised by anyone, she becomes all women. And it's the opposite for men in this mindset. When a man is victimised, especially by a woman, he, he's an outlier and a freak occurrence and that didn't happen because it can't happen. But when a man victimises anyone, especially a woman, he becomes all men. This is not just sexist hate you're exhibiting here. It's, it is flagrantly transparent bigotry. And it's not just online, it's up your ass and coating every inch of your rotted viscera, you miserable bunch of pathetic simps! But it's not about pointing the finger. If sexist hate starts with us, it must end with men. It's not about pointing the finger. Sexist hate stops with men, yeah, and it starts with women. And it never stops with women. <laughs> That's a joke, what I'm doing there, in reaction to what you're doing. Get back in the kitchen is usually a joke based on a stereotype that we all know is offensive and that's why it works as a joke. But what you're doing here is not a joke. You don't think you're even being offensive. You, you're genuinely telling us that hate is something that is exclusively men's fault and that, you absolute dick smudge, is an excruciatingly hateful thing to say. You do it because you have the power to do it with impunity and you want even more power if anyone points out how hateful you are 
and react accordingly. You want the power not just to belittle and harass them, but to ruin their lives and banish them from society. To summarise, fuck you. Actually, to summarise, here's one I made earlier. Don't like, don't subscribe, don't hit the bell, none of it works. End of quote, repeat the line. <laughs> See you later. Here's the suggestion. I'm sure I'm not the first to offer it. How about we just have one team and that team will be comprised of anyone and everyone who qualifies for it. Whether you're male or female or other, whether you're able or disabled or trans disabled, it doesn't matter. If you are one of the 11 best players to try out, you get to be on the team, regardless of whatever demographics into which you fall. Surely, that's the fairest, most egalitarian way to do it. And the reason this is all rather moot, the reason I'm sure I'm not the first person to suggest this is because in many sports, it is already the case. In many sports, there is nothing stopping women from trying out for the same team as the men. That was always allowed. It's just that no woman ever turns out to be as proficient at the sport as the top 11 men, or indeed the top 100 men. This being the case, there is in fact no such thing as the men's team. There is yep. no team for which only men are allowed to apply. What we refer to as the men's team is simply the top team. The, the open team, the purely meritocratic team, the major league team, if you will. And that is why they get paid substantially more than the women's team. Not because they're men, because they are the best of the best of every demographic, not just the best of an exclusive demographic. What you've created there is a minor league, a minor league based on sex exclusion. And minor leagues do not earn as much as major leagues. That would be fucking retarded. It's, it's like if you start a basketball league exclusively for white players, and then lo and behold, those all white teams get consistently thrashed by the teams who do allow black players. And you go, whoa, 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 whoa what's happening here? The teams that exclude black people aren't getting paid as much as the teams that don't exclude black people. This is racism! <laughs> no! No, dickhead, you're the racist for making a race-exclusive team, and that's why your team sucks. And you guys, uh, I, I mean you gals, are the sexists for making a sex-exclusive team, and that's why your team sucks. Because you won't let any men on it. Unless they grow their hair, shave their legs, and call themselves Shirley, obviously. <laughs> and so we, we, we're seeing, with a few extra steps, what happens if you allow men to join the women's team? They yep. will outperform everyone else until there aren't any women left, because men, on the whole, are faster and stronger than women, and, broadly speaking, they are much more interested in sport in general and the, the specific sport than women broadly speaking, are. If you want to get paid as much as people on the open team get paid, then join the open team. S sorry, you what? You weren't good enough? Shock fucking horror sucks to be you. Join the minor league. Luckily mm -hmm. for you, you can because you're a woman. So men who don't make the open team have no choice but to go kick rocks, pound sand, and go home without a pot to piss in. Or grow their hair, shave their legs, and call themselves Shirley. <laughs> that's, that's what's going to happen. If your top priority is denouncing masculinity at the expense of the pursuit of excellence, if you can't handle it, if you can't handle the reality that men, by and large, are faster and stronger than women, maybe we should just do away with the women's league and have one league, the meritocratic league. But it's not going to happen. You won't stop until you've turned all sports into a fucking fast that collapses under the weight of this ideological rejection of masculinity. We've tried this pragmatic acceptance of femininity. We tried ushering it into the world of sport, and this is where it got us. We yep. can't even define what women are, but whatever they are, they deserve the same pay grade as men just for <laughs> falling over the ball and fucking crying. I just, <laughs> shit, I'll get off the pot, dickhead. I, no, I, I've spoken for too long. <laughs>